Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about seven iPad settings to turn off immediately. We made this video for iPhone, it went great. We said, hey, people have iPads, let's make one for iPad too. Works for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first setting we're gonna turn off on your iPad is background app refresh. Background app refresh allows certain apps on your iPad to download content in the background even when you're not using them. So let's open the settings app here. General, background app refresh. Here are your list of apps. Which ones don't need to be downloading content in the background of your iPad? Uh, for me, a whole bunch. I don't need Audible. Mm -hmm. I don't need DraftKings. I don't. I do need Slack, obviously. Uh, how about voice memos too? Just turn those off. Just go through all your apps. Figure right. it out for yourself. The question is more which apps do need to be downloading content. It's going to be sports apps. It might be messages apps mm -hmm. like Slack or messages. Yeah, those we, are the ones to leave on. Yeah, we don't recommend turning off the master switch here at the top because there are some apps that do need background app refresh. The next iPad setting we recommend turning off is share my location. Your iPad's almost always at home. Mm -hmm. um, you're not gonna be out and about all over the place using your iPad all the time. Right, and share my location if you do use it. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Usually people use their iPhones for that. Yes, mm -hmm. so how do we do that? We go to privacy, tap location services, tap share my location, and then we're just gonna turn off this switch next to share my location. Ta-da, it's off. Perfect. The next thing we're gonna turn off on your iPad is iPad analytics. So let's tap back to location services in the upper left and then back to privacy again. You got it. Tap on analytics, it's at the bottom of that menu. And let's turn off the switch next to share iPad analytics. Why are we turning this off? iPad analytics are designed to send data to Apple and other app developers. Well, actually that's a separate switch, which you should also turn off. Yeah so that they can improve their products based on crashes and other ways that you use your iPad. Mm -hmm. This is gonna use a little bit of processing power, it's gonna use some data, and I think it's Apple's job to fix their products. Yeah, fix your own products, Apple. Fix your own and yeah. while we're here, the next step is to just turn off Share iCloud Analytics for all the reasons you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, just tap that switch, now it is off. Yep. The next thing we're gonna do is go into System Services and turn off the ones that we don't really need. Right, and so this is gonna be a lot of them. Let's step back to privacy. Head back to Location Services at the top of the Privacy menu. Tap System Services Got at the it. bottom. And now we're going to turn off most of these. What are we going to leave on? Find My iPad, we're going to leave on. Yep. And that's it. What about Emergency Calls, SOS? Oh yeah, leave that on too. So we'll turn off Apple Pay Merchant ID, CarPlay Home Location Bundle, I don't know what that is, Compass Calibration, Keep uh, Emergency, emergency Calls, calls find, yep. uh, find My iPad, yep. Turn Off HomeKit, Location-Based Alerts, Apple Ads, Base Suggestions, Time zone, time zone again. We mentioned this in our iPhone video. Mm -hmm. If you're going on a trip, just you know, when you cross time zones, turn the switch on, it'll update, and then you can just turn it off again. Nice right. and easy. Yep, and you can see by these arrows which system services were using your iPad's battery and setting time zone was. When was the last time we went to a different time zone with this iPad? It's been a while. It's been a while. I can't, I can't even remember. Yeah. Uh, and then we're just gonna turn off, share my location, and then turn off Wi-Fi networking. There we go. So while we're here, we're also just gonna make sure that these product improvement switches are turned off. This is like iPad and iCloud analytics. Mm -hmm. Just turn these off, you don't need them. Drains yep. battery, yep. unnecessary. Who needs them? Uh, I think I mean, mine are already off, but yep. yours might be that. on. So our next tip is to turn off significant locations. Another one of these privacy settings that uses your battery, tracks you where you go, and if you've had this on for a long time, it's a little bit sketchy, because it says, oh, you've been here, 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 and it's like, oh, that's really that's weird. That's a little creepy. And they used to call it frequent locations, right? Yeah, they but did. But then that was too creepy, so they say, they changed it to significant locations, right? which is also creepy. Yes, yeah, so we're just yeah. gonna tap on significant locations. Touch ID. It's supposed to be secure. Now I have it on, but it doesn't have any history here, which is good. I'll just turn off that switch. Right, the reason it doesn't have any history on David's iPad is that we turn things on for making the videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll just tap turn off. Mm -hmm. There we go, significant locations is off. Right, and you can clear your history here too, and your iPad will no longer track you everywhere you go, Perfect. which is kind of cool. And then our last tip is to turn off push mail and switch to fetch. Uh-huh. With push mail, your iPad is constantly checking the email server to see if there's new mail, which sounds great, but it can drain your iPad's battery. Mm -hmm. And most people don't need to know this second if they got a new email message. For me, every 15 minutes is more than enough. So let's go into passwords and accounts. Okay. And then we're gonna tap on fetch new data. And David already has push turned off at the top. You probably don't. Make sure that push is off. Tap the switch, now mm -hmm. it's off. And then go into individual accounts, make sure that fetch is off. I leave push on for iCloud because that doesn't use a lot of data, especially because Apple built the service, but things like Microsoft Exchange, things like Outlook and other third-party email providers can really drain the battery a lot. Yep. Then at the bottom, under fetch, David's chosen every 15 minutes. This is what I recommend as well. Mm -hmm. 
and it'll always check whenever you open the mail app or any of these apps that use these services. So it's not like you're ever gonna see stuff that's out of date. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are seven iPad settings to turn off immediately. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below. What else are you turning off on your iPad that we missed? Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone and iPad videos.